Yeah, so it's the same dude. Whew, he gets really fast, though. You're the concussive one? Yeah. Yeah, they got all these locks up to prevent me from sniping them. Whoa. Purple quality. Er, orange. That's a lot of fire. 14 speed, 749 health, 6% block. Chance to bleed, 25 magic damage, 4 crit. Devastating more base damage, but fire and recharge slower. Oh yeah. Huh. Chop. Chop. This may as well just be a fucking two-hander. <laughs> oh god. Q. Ooh, get out of there. <laughs> All right, though. All right. Chop, chop. Oh my god, with the tabard, that damage. Oh, the whirlwind's disgusting. Oh, the attack speed doesn't care about the whirlwind. <sighs> ooh, ooh, multiple potions. <laughs> it's just funny how <laughs> it's like I'm swinging the goddamn buster surge. Thunk. <laughs> Alright, so this dude, my strategy. Um, just get at him with a whirlwind. Job's done. That, that's, that's my current plan. Also, at some point, pop H during all that. Well, no, let's switch that over to G again. Hi. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that hurts like hell, as you'd expect. <laughs> but wow. I, I did a number on him. Half his health. Ow. Gone. Okay, we're gonna have to, uh... Abel! Abel, he one-shots me now! <laughs> that was pretty effective. I'm, I'm happy with that. I wasn't expecting the Rowan to end when it did, but... Other than that... Ugh. Ugh. Abel, you, uh... Really fucked up my ordering. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that time he just... Just shot me. He's just like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> that's, that's not nice. So let's try... We'll try sniping him a bit then. If he wants to be like that. <clears throat> he just snipes back. He, he doesn't really care. He hurts so much. You're a real asshole. Take some of my armor back. Whew. I just took that in the chest. Those angles, man. Man. Okay. 
Okay. Why is it... Ugh. Get out of there. Why is it so bad at remembering where my stuff was now? Like, it's not even close. Just keep ducking. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> not exactly what I wanted. Uh, darning boots, Q. W was ruined. Jeez, that. Oh boy, I don't want to be up there actually. <laughs> Got him. Carrot seeds. Purple sword and shield. Coffee. Gold. Coffee. Identification, coffee, <laughs> wheat seeds, ring of high jump. Sure, I'll sell that. Berry seeds. Got him. Um, uh, eventually. <laughs> those lasers of his, don't underestimate those. I was gone for a lot of October, busy with some other things, and during this time, it lurks below had updated quite a few times. One of them, um, kind of sort of did like a world reset type deal, because the world used to be just two layers. You had like your foreground and then the background, but now it's got three layers. And I think it might have something to do with maybe the fluids that he's working on putting in. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, yeah, it's even older than this, but I can't go older in this. But there's been work on getting fluids working, but they're not quite working in this very well because it's a custom engine, it's not Unity, and it's just a, it's, it's a work in progress type thing that he's taking a break with, but... The world had to be redone for three different layers, and that caused the world to reset. So when I continue this... Yeah. Well, this is incredibly quiet. Why is this so quiet? Huh. Uh. I could probably turn this up, like, a lot. Huh. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, yeah, and the blueprints are all on the ground and everything. So, <laughs> this is, uh, it puts me in an awkward spot. So what I think I might do is it was getting to kind of this point anyway. I think I'm going to leave it, and we'll just, we'll hold on to this for a bit. And take another look at this game later on, because I think this is an okay stopping point. The final boss exists in normal difficulty, but not nightmare. I don't know what the final boss is, but the time it would take for me to get back all the way through this on normal to get to the final boss, uh, I don't know. It's tough. Uh, one of the issues that I absolutely have with this is the warrior doesn't really feel much like a warrior at all. You start with... Um, the dash, which really seems like something that maybe the rogue should have or something, because it's it's not really much of a charge at all. It's more just, well, just a mobility thing. If the charge did, like, a proper stun, knockback or something, or, uh, I don't know, something more of like a warrior charge as you'd expect it to be, it might be a little nicer. But the, uh, yeah, the three layers actually looks really nice. Shift for the middle layer, and then control for the back layer. But yeah, the uh, the amount of parallax, it, it gives a really nice 3D effect now. That's nice. And there's a pumpkin festival thing that teleports you to a new world. Which is also another new thing. Um, actual separate worlds that you can go through. 
Mm, I'm tempted, but... Mm. Um, yeah, but Warrior, because this game is more balanced around the the ranged characters. Everybody else has a range to them, and melee wasn't really a thing originally in the game, and it was brought in with the Warrior, I believe. The Rogue... I don't know, because the Rogue is around. Melee was probably brought in with the Rogue, and then the Warrior came out shortly after, I think. And then there's also a Paladin, who I think might be out by now. Maybe. I'm, I'm not really sure. But... The game's been designed mostly around range, and without the range, it's it's difficult. It's definitely a harder play style. But the abilities that you start with the warrior don't really feel like warrior abilities. The things that you'd expect a warrior to have is things like uh, a whirlwind, which you sort of get with W. But you gotta wait till level 20 for that. And just a cleave, a natural cleave. And typically big, heavy-hitting abilities that are on some sort of a cooldown that you would be using. Like, um... I don't know, just like, you know, Heroic Smash or whatever, you know, just some big heavy hitting thing that does a bunch of damage, but it's on a cooldown. Just some sort of abilities that you can cycle through to make the combat a little more engaging as a warrior, because right now it's mostly just charge and hold on the mouse button and hope to god you survive. Unless you just charge spam, which isn't a really cool warrior way to play. People are saying that, um, I need to be charging a lot more, but that's just... I don't know, it doesn't... It doesn't feel like a warrior. It feels just like I'm a really quick, agile dude with a sword. So, I don't know. Maybe instead of a charge, maybe the leap? Or burning and leap type thing. But, again, um, it's a cool game. I really like it. It's still in development, and I'm super interested to see where it goes. But right now, I think this is a pretty okay stopping point to take a break from it and focus on some other games and take a look at this again later on. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that I wasn't able to get to the final boss, but, well, things happen, especially in development. Uh, you can't really be mad about it. You gotta expect these things. It's actually a surprise that I was able to continue to save for as long as I did, given how often this game updates. It's seriously, it's like at least once or twice a week. It's super fre frequently updating. Really cool. But I'll leave it for now, and um, we'll take a look again later on.